So, so cool, there's the International Space Station and look how it's just gliding across the sky. Look at that compared to my hand. It's a smooth, even motion. It looks a little bit brighter than an airplane and you can tell it's a little bit bigger than an airplane, but what's key is it moves so just constantly. So, so cool. We're gonna zoom into it a little bit. You know, for scale, we'll come back to that in a second. It's about the same size as some of the planets. So it looks really big there, but compare that, we got Jupiter and Saturn up there. Notice how it's about the same size as the brightest one. Let's go back to the International Space Station now. So this is really cool because I can see just a few brighter stars out, but for the most part, there's not much in the sky. I'm hitting it just right. It really makes the International Space Station <laughs> Let me try that again. International Space Station look more vibrant. The reason you're going to know that you've seen it is before it hits the bottom horizon, and I hope I'm able to see it, it might get covered up by some of the trees, it'll vanish. And the reason it'll vanish before it hits the end of the horizon is it's running into the Earth's shadow. How cool is that, right? So the reason it's bright right now is it's because it's reflecting sunlight. So when it gets into the Earth's shadow, we're not going to see it anymore. I'm going to kind of move up just so I don't miss it, but just look at just how it's just gliding across the sky. Boy, that's cool.